So the crossbow master got buffed. I gotta turn on monkey knowledge. Open start as usual. All right, so if we go for crossbow master, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start on this now. We'll get a little crossbow guy down here. Now this might be a questionable spot for crossbow master, I admit, but it also could be a good spot for crossbow master. I guess I could just spam or get, get more crossbows. I could also just farm it up so I can get the crossbow master sooner. Like I'm not even close to leaking or anything like that. So maybe maybe I'll just farm it up. Yeah, let's just farm. We're gonna go for that crossbow master, I believe. Never sub the PewDiePie. You a T-Series fan? I actually don't have too much uh, a stake in this. I just like watching the numbers go up in this race. It's it's pretty amusing. Like, I, I really thought PewDiePie would have lost by now, but the fact that he hasn't overall lost is really entertaining. Okay, I may have to get some more defense. It's starting to look pretty bad. I have only 26 allies to work with, too. Like, I'm really playing with fire here. I have not considered LASIK. I actually like wearing glasses quite a bit. I, I wear them pretty much for every occasion at this point now. I don't, I don't think I'd get a uh, LASIK uh, surgery or whatever. I'm not really afraid of the risks. I don't think it'd be that big a deal, but it's not like something I need to do, you know? And it wouldn't be a cost thing either. I, I just think it's unnecessary. He, PewDiePie did lose for 10 minutes, but that was like bullshit, man. You should, YouTube should have gave it like a warning or whatever when they were going to delete a bunch of accounts because that's like the sole thing that, that made it go down for a bit. It was funny how quickly PewDiePie fans brought it back though. Alright, so this will be my second crossbow master eventually. They don't look like much now because they're actually pretty dog shit right now, but eventually they'll be good, I swear. I probably am going to want more damage for the web. Because the sharpshooter is not going to be that helpful. I'm not going to rely on the crits on th for this guy to survive. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will, actually. Fuck it. Let's just let's just try to get lucky. I'm sure this will totally beat the moibs that well. Alright, what am I doing? This is not going to be the fucking moib. Holy crap. Alright, let, let me just get like a... Uh, just some... Stupid druids or something. Alright. <laughs> I need to figure out some defense. Alright, I, I guess I'm gonna just collect from my bank at this point. I don't know, this is probably silly though. And I can't even afford like jungle drums on top of it. Oh, well that worked out really well. What the fuck? How do we get so lucky for all that to pop down the greens? But hey, I'll take it, I guess. Well, I'm screaming to stream a consistent theatrical because BT6 isn't really a game that I want to force myself to stream. It's not as fun to stream as Battles ever was. Although, streaming Battles now would be easily worse than streaming BT6. But either way, like, BT6 doesn't quite have enough content where I could just go live and guarantee I'll have something to do. I can't force myself to do a schedule because then otherwise I'll be forcing streams. And then they'll be not entertaining. And then I'll be bored to death and it'll show. That's a shoddy explanation, but I think it kind of covers it. Alright, there we go. We got our jungle drums. Now this shit attacks even faster. Going towards $30,000. Probably gonna even end up selling this guy in the process just to rush this crossbow master. Oh god. We fine here? We are. I feel like this open actually is insane DPS. Yeah, no, this open's actually kicking ass. Alchemist open combo is sick. Alright, we're gonna click from here. We're gonna, we're gonna make our way. We're, we're getting there. I don't think I'm ever gonna sell my banks for the Crossbow Master. Because even once I get the Crossbow Master, there's gonna be so much more I'm gonna have to do. Like a second Crossbow Master. Like probably a Permabrew. Like other random stuff. At least we have these Wall of Trees. They, I do like how early they came. Really coming in clutch there. Okay, Backup Trees. This was a terrible spot. Um, may have to redo this. Oh, no. Dude, this guy's range is massive. What the fuck? He's not even Crossbow Master, and Crossbow Master gives a huge range buff. I thought we were going to be fucked when that mob got by, but we're just doing solid now. How fast is my Wi-Fi? Not fast. All right, I'm going to just do a collect all. Give me that Crossbow Master. Maximum range. Yeah, boy. So, if you guys don't know the buff he got, it was only a Crossbow Master buff. His crit hat happens approximately once every eight shots as opposed to once every 10 shots that I did in the past. So it crits more often, which means I guess on average it does better damage. So we'll see how much that matters. That should be exciting. 
So I'm actually gonna take my other crossbow master, move it over here. I'm gonna just have both my crossbows in this area. And I think that'll be pretty fun. Of course, it's gonna take a while to get that second one, but it'll be sick once we have two. Then I'll see how long those last. That should be a lasting for quite a bit. So I can't say whether this guy is doing good or not, because, well, these are still easy rounds. This guy was easy, able to solve these rounds in the past, but he is doing, like, really solid now. Does he be around 63 is the question. All right, so, all, okay, now we're actually starting to struggle. Fortified mobs, a little sketch. Like, how do we do on this round, though? I'm, uh, okay, we actually do fantastic. Okay, so this guy's a phenomenal pierce. He's actually really good at, like, this part of the game. You know, before Super Ceramics become a thing, when you just have to worry about lots and lots of balloons, he actually solos pretty well. I bet he solos 76, 78 reasonably well. But then when it comes to stronger balloons, more spaced out stuff, yeah, it's, it's a bit of an issue. Still, we're good enough, though. Alright, second crossbow master. Double the crossbow. Can't really do this in chimps, but we can do this in impoppable mode. So that's good enough. So I think I am going to go for a permanent brew while I'm at it. And then probably a top path village. Just to cap it all off. Maximum dart monkey buffs, because the top path village does buff primary towers even more. Which would be fun. Be nice if farmers auto collected banks. <laughs> It'll, that'd be kind of cool. But they're farmers, not bankers. I mean, that's like a totally different profession. Best Dark Vengeal Temple for late game? I think it's everything but the uh, the military. The, uh, the the most the majority of the Dark Temple's power really comes from its sun avatar, so you definitely want double of those. The the Dark Aces are just kind of okay. They're obviously not bad, but they're not great either. Ad bankers. Now we're talking a monkey banker as agents or as as a power. Sorry. <laughs> I would actually totally use it for that purpose. I mean, I already use monkey farmers. They're pretty fun to dick around with. Maybe bad PCs cause it, and that's how I've been able to dodge it. Holy shit, round 76 got owned. These guys are going to do so good up until round 81. I'm going to be so sad once round 81 hits, and my defense literally just becomes dog shit. It's going to be super disappointing. Worst upgrade in the game? Worst single upgrade? I mean, bottom path 50 or boomer is pretty bad. Bottom path 50 or glue, I think, is worse right now. Maybe bottom path alchemist as well. Unless for, like, very specific situations, but usually it fucks you over. Or Quincy. Usually my go-to for, like, worst anything is Quincy. So, yeah, screw it. Let's just sell some banks. Let's get our permanent brew after this round. Because I want to see how these two do against the ZMG, just as is. Like, I imagine it'll go very, very well for us. Especially with Oban's slow totems. And they are maximum slow. Oh, yeah, they do a lot of damage. All right, let's get permanent brew now. Just before this starts sucking. So you can already see with super ceramics, they're a little bit annoying to deal with. But it's not the worst thing ever. Now we're going to go for primary expertise on top of all of it. Buff these guys a little bit more and just provide the good old ballistic missile attacking. God, the super ceramics getting far, though. That does scare me. Don't want them chasing too much, because I'll imagine they'll miss a defense. Or distance. Oh god, fortified super ceramics. Alright, I'm gonna have to get a defortification mortar soon, because these, these are really scary right now. I could solve all my problems with trees, but I'd rather not. Midpap sniper? Mmm, yeah. That is worse, I think, than anything mentioned. Midpath, fifth tier sniper. Honestly, bottom path, fifth tier sniper is pretty bad, too. Top path is, like, good for late game, but pretty garbo otherwise. And we basically have maximum uh, buffs for this guy now, I think. Outside of temple. But I'm not going to get a temple for hypersonic thing or anything like that. The village have any bad upgrades? I mean, bottom path in chimps mode. Otherwise, village all around is just a good tower. I would say its lower tiers are much more useful than its higher tiers. But honestly, every single tier of the village has some use. Like, Monkeyopolis is just the worst because you don't... But it's still, like, really good income. I don't know. I don't know. It's, like, the best as far as income goes. All right, we're going to get some more mortars, by the way. I'm sick and tired of these fortified super ceramics ruining my day. So we're just going to get... Not that mortar. That, that was dumb. That was... Not not that mortar. We're going we're gonna to get the other mortar. This one here. Good news is we do, in fact, beat four ZOMGs. I mean, it could have been a disaster, but it wasn't, so that's always nice to see. 
All right, how do we do against DDTs? I feel like this guy's gonna do the majority of the damage. It was hard to say which of these crossbow masters or pr primary expertise contributed the most, but it was very interesting, I'll say that much. All right, so instead of taking one mortar and microing it, we're gonna get multiple mortars and we're just have one on each path and that's gonna be all my fortification detection. Let's go. This is dense balloon cluster. I could really eat, eat shit here. That would be super disappointing. Hasn't happened yet though. It seems that actually I'm doing really good against the super ceramics when there's a lot of them. I still do have good pierce, which is always good to see. I'll just collect now, get this. All right, so I've gotten both the fortification guys. Now what? What I, 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 I don't know what to do at this point. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna lose to like 95, 98, or 99. So I definitely need to do something, but I have no clue what I wanna do. I have, I have all my support. I mean, I could get stuff like Sabos and try to solely rely on these guys. I also have not placed the verdict on whether or not I think they're good yet. I mean, they're pretty ass in free play, but maybe it's worth it just for early game. Holy cow, we almost leaked there. What the fuck? On a glue storm? Oh, glue storm actually might not be too bad. I could actually get some good use out of glue storm. Fuck it. Okay, we do survive that round. Praise be. So we're gonna do this. Oh shit, free upgrades. Yeah, boy. The glue storm for the plus one layer of damage will actually legitimately be helpful. And you know what? I'm gonna do trees right now too, because I'm a little scared. You never know when it could go bad. Oh, I miscalculated that. I thought it was 16k, not 18k. All right, I've acquired glue storm. I actually have it active now, so let's let's glue storm. I haven't actually got to use that since it was uh, buffed. Oh, look at all those crits! Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this is a, <laughs> this is a shit ton of crits. Wait, was this always happening? Wait, look. Has this always been happening without me realizing? That's a lot of crits. I mean, it's attacking super fast, so one every eight is gonna be pretty frequent. I guess I just realized it until now. All right, get ready. Here we go. Do the trees, slow DDTs. Got a lot more time to attack now, and actually the sabotage is really good with this setup. I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, uh, we got them all. Wait, we got them all now. Nice. Yeah, Sabo is actually really good with this setup. So maybe I'll get one more Sabo. Just so I can continuously Sabo, making my Crossbow Masters do even better and better and better. I'll slow this down here. Like, yeah, look at that slow. Also got some ninja distraction going on right here. Fuck it, fourth Sabo coming in. Get some insane Shinobi combos going on. Get a glue storm going in, even more damage. I think I'll do this Sabo. Uh, it's close. Don't miss. Don't always oh, snipe that. All right, so get this back over here. Gotta defortify all these. Activate this. And I'm gonna make my way towards the first strike capability for round 100. Here we go. Slow them all down again. Probably should glue storm like now. Use it multiple times this round. Sabo again. Keep it coming. Sabo wears off as soon as he pop a layer, though, which is awful. I'm gonna reach trees right now. I'll be able to tell if I leak, which is nice. Because the eggs is not being covered up by balloons. And right now, we're actually not leaking. I'll do this. Again, I'm gonna save this next Sabo for 99. We're actually doing really solid right now. I'll glue storm once more. I don't think I need it for 99. Yeah! 98 taken down. Yes. All right, let's launch this now. I think we just need one Sabo to deal with this. Get the first strike capability. And we'll hope that this is actually enough. I do have a second Sabo, though, just in case. Watch if they speed up at all. They do not. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully I have enough damage for his BID. Hopefully I didn't screw up somewhere along the line. <laughs> Alright. This first strike is stupid. It's boasted. We didn't get to test that at all. That was bullshit. Why does it one shot a VAD? Why? Uh, so my verdict on Crossbow Master is that it's probably good for early game.
63, 76, 78. But it's really trash after 80. I had to use all this help and even barely got through 98 and 99.